Alright, I'm a little behind the eight ball on this one. This this demo came out in January. I'm a bit slow to do these things, but regardless. So, I'm assuming you know the the connotations of this game. If you don't, you can find them elsewhere. But um, I'm going to try to give this a fair shot. I'm, I'm going to evaluate things and a... As they come basis, I'm not just going to needlessly poo all over this game for two episodes. Let's try to, to find the good in it. So, uh, first off, the the cinematics look nice. Well, kind of. Those two background characters don't look too good. Uh, you can really tell who's a main character and who isn't. The, those two hopscotching characters back there. Looked like something out of some, like, Disney trivia party for Wii, but... Anyway, they're super impressed with your cool, sick tricks. But we're too cool for that. We don't need congratulations. He's just an antisocial jerk who don't need nobody. Wow, it's like this game was made just for me. It's like looking into the past. All these people are being nice to him and wanting to, to play along with him, but he just won't do it. He just looks at the floor and walks away. Well, finally, a game made for me, as John Tran says. Bale and Company, huh? They, they set up a whole team just for this game. That, <laughs> that's kind of sad, honestly. The colors look nice, at least. Good color combinations. So this is sort of a, a trick that the developers pulled because uh, a minute ago we had to choose between the, the girl character or the boy character and I guess they got around having to make separate cutscenes for both of them. So instead they just have one cutscene that features both characters as sort of a, a workaround to save time. I don't think it's very advisable to just storm into this creepy mansion unaccompanied. Pennywise is going to be in there with some shit. I mean, who knows? It's dangerous. As they say in that racing game, it's dangerous. So there's our, our discount nights and dreams. All you can see is his teeth against his... Uh, his extremely dark face is, <laughs> reminds me of this stand-up bit I saw once. But <laughs> I don't know if I should say that on the show, though. So I, I don't like the implication of this, uh, the, of the plot here, how these these kids wandered into a creepy derelict mansion and then there's a, a strange man who's going to whisk them away to, to an unknown location. Was this based on an experience that Yuji Naka had as a kid? Is this his way of telling us about it? That he had a, an awful traumatic experience? Uh, what a bizarre way of making that public, if that were the case. This, this fantasy world goes very fast. Did, did he just... He, he drank the glass that they were inside of... I'm trying too hard to actually put logic to this. You just gotta turn your brain off to enjoy Balin Wonderland. Or Wonderworld, rather. They should have called it Balin Wonderland. Has a bit of ring to it, don't you think? So, there's our, our, our title screen, I guess. Isle of Tims? You mean Tims like the shoes? Has anybody made that joke yet? Uh, that was a funny thing from like 2017 where, where Tim's were a meme and you know those weird looking brown shoes and the, the meme came out at the same time as uh, when the bee movie was a meme so people naturally started combining them and Mary B. Benson is wearing badass Tim's and then a bunch of laughing emojis and when did memes turn to shit? Okay but enough talk we can go through the door number one or door number two like we're on the prices right. So yeah, on Switch that just lags horribly apparently. I mean, since we're Chads here on this channel and we've got the Series X version, we don't have to worry about that. 
But yeah, on weaker platforms, that's just a no-go. And away we go. Oh, oh, this looks a little rough. A giant. Okay, I don't, I don't see the point of the giant farmer. That looks like something out of a GMod map. You can just size up the characters for no reason. I don't understand it. Anyway, I'm hoping the quality of this video turns out okay, because right now in my capture software, this this is looking quite rough. Well, it'll probably get smoothed out once we're done here. Okay, Tornado Tunyon. Nope, wrong game. <laughs> you guys remember Tornado Tunyon? One of the most oddly designed characters in all of Vigi games. So, the... The power-up that we get from the wolf costume is that we can jump, but also do damage at the same time. So what I don't get here is that the wolf that we got this wolf costume from, it it doesn't look completely wolf-like. It something, Something's wrong with like the, the positions of its teeth and like its snout. It looks more lizard-like than wolf-like. I don't know if that was intentional. But anyway, that just kind of, kind of bugs me. So those things are basically the equivalent of Mario 64 stars. And then, then they also, they wanted to do an homage to Portal, I guess. You know, if they really just wanted to make this a completely terrible experience, they should have put in like a really dated Portal meme. Like if that rabbit that went through the mirror said, The cake is a lie! tra -la 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 -la. Gosh, can you imagine if they did that? I say they should have just gone all in and tried, deliberately tried to make a terrible game. It would have been funny. Okay, so we got Discount Riala here, uh, floating there. And he's, he, he's summoned three enemies. This will just stop us in our tracks and then we won't be able to save the dream world, I want to say. Is that the plot? Do we have to save this world? But what exactly is our goal here? I don't think that was explained. So anywho, you might notice that the characters, they fade away as you get closer to them. Okay, bad example. See, like that. Because normally... In like a regular video game, characters fade away when they get far away and you can't see them as well. They save on resources, but for some reason this game does it the opposite way. It's just the most ass backwards thing you ever did see. Okay, I think there's supposed to be a costume that lets you climb the spider webs, but it... Because clearly you're supposed to go up there, you see the crystals, but... I'm guessing maybe they forgot to put it in that... There really doesn't seem to be a way... To get those crystals. Unfortunately, it's a bit of an oversight. Maybe they'll fix that when the final game comes out. Maybe. Um, so yeah, all, all the, the Bale and Wonderland fans out there are optimistic that they're gonna fix all of these huge problems by the time the game launches, but I mean, will they? The, this isn't a a beta, this is a demo, the, the idea is, it, is that it's just a sample of the full game, it's not an incomplete version of the game. It's not really normal for things to change that much from the demo. Oh, Yuji Naka, you always do this. You know, I might be pissing off all the Sega people out there, but maybe, just maybe, it's time for Yuji Naka to retire. Yuji Naka is the creator of this game, and also Sonic the Hedgehog, and Billy Hatcher, and I think Choo Choo Rocket, if you're wondering. it, Gotta explain these things. Okay, so the, this segment's a, a bit pointless. It's just sort of a, a mini-game. It doesn't have any bearing on the plot. I mean, we're, we're just in a featureless void, kicking rock formations. What, what good does this do? What is the purpose? Is that one guy says in that video, What is the reason? <laughs> Remember that? That was the, Why are you closed? Tell us why you're closed. Anyway, I don't, I don't, I don't see much point in this segment. 
Yeah, those Nintendo Life guys didn't quite understand this either. That they were saying, just like I said, You're just in a featureless void kicking rock formations. I simply do not understand why they would add such a thing. Okay, so we just get the dirty hat instead of the gold one because we, we didn't kick one of the rock formations on time so the, the whole thing's hosed. So anywho, we got one more episode of Bale in Wonderland uh, coming out eventually. We'll get to see a boss and uh, a few other things and uh, plenty more to see, so stay tuned.